Hey, it's Greg from Vulture. Hey, I wanted to do a quick demo and tell you a little bit about some of the new features. So we've been telling you guys that we have a new version 4.0 uh, firmware uh, that is available for everyone. We're making it available for all of our customers. Um, first off, the quickest thing to go over is I want to make sure people know how to tell if they have the latest stuff. For about the last month and a half, we've been shipping. Um, some of them will say version 3.0. Version 3.113114. If you have a label here that says version 3 or a version 4, you have the latest stuff, so you are good to go. Um, anything from this point on will be version 4.0. So, handheld is labeled right here, and the sensor it's labeled right on the battery holder. Same thing here. If you don't have a label there, you don't have the latest stuff, so we highly recommend that you update them. I uh, want to go do a quick demo here and show you about one of the main features. So some feedback that we got is they, uh, some people that use them for tip downs and rattle reels and tip ups just wanted faster alarms. On the old stuff, on the old, like the version 2.0, it could take up to uh, four, five, six seconds. So I'll show you a quick demo here on how fast it is now. So if I pull the line here, it goes into alarm immediately and I got that message pretty much instantaneously. So very fast communications now, which is nice. Let me clear the alarm. Some of the other stuff I'll just note real quick. Um, faster alarms, like I mentioned. Uh, improved packet reception, so just in general, things get there uh, faster, quicker, more reliable. Uh, just improvements that we've made. Uh, we improved a lot of things on the alarms. So we did randomized alarms. So if two flags went up at exactly the same time, um, they could stomp on each other every once in a while with some of the older stuff. So we, we made some major improvements to that so that ensures that uh, if you get multiple alarms that they will get through amongst each other. Um, we're sending more alarms, they're important, so we decided to send more of them. Uh, a number of other motion and magnet alarm improvements that we've made. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff that you can check out on the website. So just to keep this Quick and fast, I want to show you uh, probably the biggest feature um, that we got. So a lot of feedback that we got is at the end of the day, people didn't like having to open up the sensors and shut them off at the end of the day. Uh, we purposely wanted a very well-sealed sensor. Uh, we want these things to be able to be outside continuously. I've had sensors out for years now in my back property. They've been under water, they've been under snow, they've been rained on, they've been sun beating down on them and they just keep ticking and uh, so we did not want to have an external power switch um, so one of the features that we implemented was a wireless shutdown so now at the end of the day you don't have to open them up anymore um, to shut them off uh, what you can basically do is wirelessly shut these things down so this would be a good example I just done at the end of the day fishing I took my magnet off and the sensor is an alarm so what I can basically do is take my handheld, hold down buttons 5 and 6, he starts chirping, that's basically saying I'm in, wire, I'm in sensor shutdown mode. So if, you're in, if you have them set for a two-way device, which I always recommend, all I need to do is just a normal pull to it when he's in this mode. You're going to watch him flash really quick, and now he shuts off. And at this point in time, he's, I'm still in the wireless shutdown mode. So I can hold buttons 5 and 6 to get out of this, or I can hold buttons 1 and 2 to shut him down. I'm going to go back into normal mode. He did that quick beep, 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 beep. That just tells you that he is back to the normal mode of operation. So to prove it to you, I can pull it now. He is not going to respond because he is shut down. So I can store him in this mode, never have to open him up, and they are good to go. So how do you turn them back on? Very simple. I will go ahead and show you. All you have to do is put the magnet back on. He's going to flash green, saying he's armed and ready to go again. And just to prove it to you that he is back on, I can push button one. He flashes. And he responds right here. So two-way communication, so I know I'm good to go. So that is it. There are a number of other features that you can go check out on the website. The website is www.vultursystems.com. Go check that out. If you want to get your sensors updated, 
there is a there is a sensor upgrade package up there. You select one of those. So basically, we're charging $5.99, which is just for handling. So shipping and handling is all we're charging. So you send them back to us, we'll update them and send them to you. Um, at the same time, we also have a sale going on. So we want to thank everyone for the support that we've been given. And it's a good opportunity for you to get your sensors updated. And there's a sale going on. And that's about it. So if there's any questions, you can just... Uh, Email us, you can comment on Facebook, and just ask away. Go check out our website, www.vultresystems.com. Thank you.